Well, definitely, I think um, the beautiful thing that I love about Toronto is that it is such a multicultural city. You know, my parents, they immigrated from Guyana, you know, third world country to first world country. And, um, you know, for me personally, that really taught me the value, I think, of working hard for things and building up and being determined to, you know, work hard for the things that you want in your life and for your life. So. That was a really great experience for me, and then also growing up around so many different types of culture, I was just exposed to you know different foods and music and, and people, and and I I think that that was really great for me and inspired me you know musically definitely, and then also um, being able to be Guyanese in Toronto is a very easy thing to do because we have a huge West Indian population over there, so you know it was really easy to keep our culture and you know for my mom to cook her food the same way she does and for our friends to come over and enjoy that as well so it's a really really great city to uh, to enjoy and, and keep your culture and I do miss it when I'm gone but um, you know with what I've experienced up there I get to see the world and understand it a little bit better I absolutely love Domino's Domino's is um, it's actually one of my favorite things to do. When I went to school, I would like skip class and play dominoes at lunch. And so, um, it, it is it's something my grandparents, my parents, me, even my young nieces have been getting into. So, I don't really have that much time to play anymore because I'm always in different countries and I'm touring now a lot. But when I get home, that's definitely something we all get together and do is we play dominoes for sure. Um, you know, Whitney Houston is definitely, um, she is the voice, I think, that made me really fall in love with music as a little girl. And I'm so happy that she is, you know, making her comeback now with a, with a new album out. And um, it's just a really great thing, I think, with everything that, you know, um, we've seen her go through. I think it's a wonderful thing that she's still making music and, uh, you know, there are people that still love her and support her. So I think that's, that's wonderful. I wish her all the best. You know, I would have to say that my favorite, my favorite city on that tour was probably doing Paris. Um, Paris was actually a big city for me because I had never been and I wanted to go. So I got to end the tour off in Paris, which was really great. But it was the energy that I got in Paris from the people. I mean, being Canadian, I had a little bit of French, so that helped out as well. But it was the energy of the crowd that they just rocked and it were just hands in the air, having a great time, and that was, uh, that was a real connection for me and a great way for me to end off that tour. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to go back there. Um, I definitely think that, you know, I do. I love, I love an album cover that is stripped down and I think there to what people really want to see, and I think that that is what is that artist telling you just from looking at that photo and you know Roberta Flack has a really really famous famous cover um, greats like Shaka Khan as well and um, for me I, I felt like that picture just captured a, a timeless essence I think of you know a, a young woman with a story I think um, it was raw it was stripped down it wasn't about fashion it wasn't about clothing I think it was about the expression and just the the grit of the photo and um, you know I wanted people to be intrigued by what is this bridge what is Melody Fiona You know, it's a great feeling to to have an international release, you know, all over Europe and in Canada and now getting ready for here in the States. It's really great because kind of, you know, this is where I signed and it's been really great to go overseas and come back and, and have that international buzz and bring that back to the States and say, hey, you know, this is music that's going around the world and I, I really wanted to... Um, be successful. It's nerve-wracking. It's exciting, but you know, it's been it's been long anticipated for me. So um, I'm just I'm really really excited that it's finally happening, and I I just can't wait for people to hear it over here because I really think that it's a uh, it's an international sound that can that'll work well right here in North America. On this first album, I really wanted to you know pay homage to the things that have inspired me definitely like soul music and my culture and give people a taste of really who I am musically and culturally on this first album. Um, a thing that I love about it is that it leaves me so much room 
to grow into different areas of music and to try new things and to explore new things. So I think in evolving into whatever it becomes will definitely, I think, be a revolution because it is about making classic, timeless music. I don't think I'll ever be an artist that's going to make music for right now. It'll always be something that I want people to enjoy forever. So no matter what it evolves into, it will, uh, it will definitely be classic.